how do you choose what to give and where to spend your time, yeah. especially in a charitable way? Because there's so many amazing causes and yeah. so much need out there. Like Matt, you kind of referenced that earlier because you said there's a lot of need and, and obviously there is. I just, sometimes I, again, I stumble because like where, where do you, uh, where do you dedicate yourself? Or how do you choose? One of the first things I look at is the, the balance of the charity. If they spend more than 85%, I mean more than 15% on their overhead and fundraising, I usually don't contribute to that. So if they can keep it, and a lot of them are 90% 90 goes to the work. So that's, a, that's great. Um, the second thing is, what are their missions? People have asked me, why are you don't, why are you helping in a third world country? I said, in America, if you are driven, not even driven, if, if you are competent, you can be raised in a single family house, be a minority, and you could become president of the United States, like Barack Obama did. Mm -hmm. That guy could have been down here, but he became president of the United States. Right. Um, so, there's not a safety net in other places. Um, the other thing is, sometimes what I look at is what their accomplice is like. If you can, there's a, a house almost across the street here that is a halfway house for people. And when you come out of a drug program and you're clean and everything, and um, then you go back to the same place with the same people your chances of full recovery are next to none. Mm -hmm. So if you can go to get them to a place where other people are living there that have been through this and it's out of their old environment, they're coming to Plymouth and it's too hard for them yeah. to connect with those, they have a better chance. So that's, you kind of have to look at everything together and, and then you decide if you're gonna work in it, um, like I work in the Project Trinity so I donate a lot to Project Trinity. Uh, I'm, I'm a board member at E3, which is in South Africa, and so I donate to that because I can see where the money is going. 